Hi guys, it's me, Kim. I am coming to you two months and one week post-op of my ACDF cervical fusion of the C5 and C6. This is an update to let you guys know how I'm doing at this point. Um, I was doing good. Everything was going really well. I was having minimal pain. Um, I was able to sleep until this last week, week and a half, something like that. I've been having some new issues. I am having a catching in my neck and some really sharp, severe pain when that happens. A lot of the times I'm not expecting it. Well, I'm never expecting it. It just catches me off guard. And a lot of the times it just takes my breath away. It's sudden, it's sharp, and for a second or two, I can't move my head. So that seems to be an issue. Um, I'm also having a lot of pain in my shoulders, specifically this shoulder, and numbness in my hands at night. Not really during the day. I don't notice it at all. But this morning I woke up and both my hands were completely numb. I cannot feel them at all. This seems to be happening quite regularly. Um, the pain in my shoulder is bothersome. It pretty much is nonstop all the time. My arm, and this is what... The doctor is concerned about my arm is weak, um, mostly this arm, my right arm. I tire out real easy when I'm doing anything in both of my arms. Um, they feel really heavy when I lift them above my head for some reason. We're not sure why that's happening. I'm waiting to hear back from the doctor at the beginning of the week. They said, well, the nurse said she was going to speak with my doctor and he is probably going to want me to do another MRI. She said it sounds like maybe one of the discs could have slipped underneath. The ones that they just repaired, um, I guess that weakens them during surgery or whatever. I told her I've not done anything strenuous, which I haven't. I've quit my job. I don't work anymore. I haven't really done anything. So, this is just a new issue, and I'm hoping that we don't have to do a round two on the surgery, but at this point, I don't know. I will let you guys know what's happening with that next week, whenever I see the doctor. I had a lumbar fusion set up for July 24th. That is not going to happen now because of this. need to find out what's going on with this first. And the fact that it's causing me problems with my sleeping and just general problems throughout the day. They don't think that it's the right time for me to do the lumbar fusion surgery and neither do I. So we're going to hold off on that for a while. Um, I'm back on, well I never really came off of my narco on uh, hydrocodone. Um, they were lowering the dosage but with this new pain I've told them it just doesn't help. So I'm back up to 7.5 uh, about three times a day. Um, gabapentin for pain still. That's for the nerve pain when I don't like to take it. Um, it does cause weight gain and it turns me into a zombie. So I'm trying not to have to take that unless I just have to. They did put me on um, Tanzidine, uh, Xanaflex. They put me on that again and I take those at night to be able to rest. I think that's about all for now that I can tell you. Um, this don't this doesn't make me happy. It's I guess it could be worse but a scar on your neck just doesn't look good and people are rude sometimes and they I've caught several people staring at me, and I know what they're thinking. They're probably thinking, who slit her throat, you know. But I am using the Bederma. It just doesn't, I, I guess it's, it's only two months old, so I can't expect a lot. But it's kind of bumped up, and it 
kind of just feels disgusting. So, anyways, hopefully the Moderma will take care of that over time. We will see. Anyways, for now, I'm going to sign off, but I will be back definitely to let you guys know how I'm doing and what the doctor says.